Uh, we talk about menopause very frequently in our society, but men also undergo a similar condition, and that's basically where the testicles stop producing as much testosterone as they used to. Uh, common signs of low testosterone are what most men think of, which is decreased libido and problems with erection. But what a lot of men don't realize is decreased energy level, decreased stamina, decreased exercise tolerance, decreased muscle mass, decreased bone density are also a, uh, common signs or associated with low testosterone. Testosterone is uh, diagnosed by simple blood tests. We don't just check those levels randomly, we usually check them when someone is having symptoms. We treat only patients that are displaying signs or symptoms of low testosterone. I tell them there are a lot of benefits to replacing their testosterone, typically an improved concentration ability, an improved mood, improved erections, improved libido. Two main risks associated with replacing testosterone. The first is prostate cancer. Testosterone doesn't give you prostate cancer, but if you have prostate cancer, testosterone can wake it up. Testosterone stimulates the bone marrow and can thicken the blood, but with too much uh, red blood cells and blood that's too thick, we start to worry about blood clots. There are three main ways to give testosterone. Uh, it comes in a gel form, typically in a, in a packet or a tube, almost like a ketchup packet. A man has to rub that into his skin and that's absorbed transdermally. There's testosterone injections. Those are done typically in the doctor's office every two to three weeks. And then there's a newer procedure that we've been doing for the last two years, uh, and that's called Testapel. That involves the implantation of testosterone pellets. Each pellet is about the size of a grain of rice. Those are put in the fleshy part of the buttock, and those dissolve slowly over the next three and a half to four months. I've had many patients that thought many of their symptoms were just because of aging. We replaced their testosterone, and now they're living much better, fuller lives with the, uh, their hormones at appropriate levels.